Morning, Disc Golf. This is Jim from Team Prodigy in Central Texas Disc Golf. You know, with the announcement of the 2025 DGPT Tour schedule and the Open at Austin is returning for another year, it got me thinking about my roots of disc golf and, and when I got started. I got started playing right here in Belton at Heritage Park. And uh, before, if you didn't know about it, the Open at Austin used to be an Open at Belton. It was last played here in 2022. Since then, this park has undergone a lot of changes. There's not a whole lot of this disc golf course left, but there's more than you think. The Open at Austin has changed. It's now gone from a Silver Series event. It's going to be a four-day Elite Series event, so that the event keeps growing. It got me wondering, how many of the Open at Austin hole, Open at Belton holes can I still play here? Well, I think we can get about nine of them in pretty good, pretty much still in rotation. Baskets are here. So join along as we take a trip down memory lane. We're going to play the open at Belton course, at least nine holes of it. Come join us for a fun round here at Central Texas Disc Golf. We're at hole number one here at the open at Belton old course. This is a 388 foot par three. Luckily, most of this hole is still intact. The basket is a little shorter than what it was since they put in the blue route. We're going to go right between those trees, hopefully right there at that basket. 388 foot par 3. You can go straight at it or you can go around. I'm going to throw the one that way and then one going around. Let's see how we do. Get over the creek. I don't know. We'll see. Get warmed up. Go two. I'm going to go out wide this time, go around, see how we do. T pad's still in pretty good shape. Did a pretty good job with it. There we go. Take the second one. Basket is no longer there, but we got to go to that white sign right there where the hole is for number four on the blues. Just throw a putter up there and make a putt. See if we can get out of here with our three. I think I made my three. First hole's out of the way. Tee pad's in good shape. Basket's gone. You can play the shorter basket if you wanted to. The hole for this basket is actually right where the sign was. Made my par. Number one is out of the way. Where's the tee pad for hole number two on the red and the white course? But it's basically the same course you used to play for hole for the open at Austin number two. It's a little shorter. The white and the red, of course, is 459 feet. It's still on halfway up the hill. Uh, the open at Belton course was all the way down the hill, so it's about 470 foot par four right through those gaps. Luckily, we're going to get to play about nine holes, I think, are still around from the open at Austin. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to have to jump over and play hole nine, and then the last three holes, 16, 17, 18. That's what's left here on the layout. So let's go ahead and see how we do. Par four, 480 feet. Got to go through the trees. have a putt if I was playing the red course. The basket for the open at Belton was at the bottom of the hill. I'm going to throw my current, see if I can get up there, take my four and get out of here. <laughs> On top of the hill, third approach shot to the bottom of the hill. Let's go ahead and make an approach shot to the old basket, not to the new one. But we're going to go a little long on this, get down the hill, show you where the basket was. Hopefully it stayed up. That was a danger, but that was cut. If you get a bad roll away, you can roll all the way almost down to the river. There's the hole. There's the pole for the old basket. Go ahead, make my four. So two pars, three and four. On holes one and two, got a par three and a par four. Let's go see where we got left on the next hole. Luckily, the next two holes are up and running and still in great shape. Okay, we're at hole number three. So in 2022, the third hole was the white course, 297 foot long basket par three. The year before, they played the shorter basket, 228. We're gonna try to play both. Let's get the driver down there. Throw FX3, see if I can get it to turn. Get it down there. Hit the tree a little bit. It's down there. Okay, baskets are lined up. The 2020 one basket is short. The 2022 basket is long. We're going to throw the both from here. Let's see how we do. Got a putt there. Change that throw four in. Ooh, 
Ooh, got stymie by the tree. Gonna take a four on the long hole. But I've been telling my card mate, I told my card mates Wednesday night, playing on league night, is the putter is not coming out of my hand very well. Made that one. So I made a three on the shorts. Okay, let's see how we do here. Let's so get back there and make my four from back here. It's part three, so I'm gonna make a bogey if we're playing the long hole today. Right up there. Run up there and make that. Take that as a par on the shorts. Every told number four, probably the funnest hole on the course. 467 feet par four, straight through the gap to the far basket on the hill. Saw a lot of people get a lot of big numbers here. Saw Ezra eight, a hole park this sucker and make it two. Still a hard hole, I love it. Drives me crazy. Probably got three diffs in the water over there. Throwing in four, get down there, see if we can get close to the gap and get out and see how we do. Where do you usually go? Found my disc. All you gotta do is here is a dastardly, the genius of this hole. All you gotta do now is try to get out, get yourself a five. Pitch out, see if we can get a shot up there, make a five. See if I got a putt at it for a four. Got a pretty good shot, got a chance at a four. Let's go see if I can get up the hill. Like I said, not pleased with my putter right now. Made it. Wow. That's what I usually do. Hit out front. But I made a four. That's pretty good. Usually make five on that hole. I made eights on that hole. What a great hole. I'm so glad they were able to keep it in the new redesign. Okay, we're out here to play hole number five. About a thousand foot par five straight down the alleyway. You got to get through the gap and then you got three shots to get there. Uh, can't play this hole anymore because you have to go across the road, but the basket's still there as part of the red and the blue layout. I mean, excuse me, the red and the white layout. But we're going to go ahead and play it. See if we can get out there. Either want to be right of that tree or left of that tree. If you hit that tree, it's a tough five. So let's go ahead and see if I can get a little hyzer right off that tree. Get down there. <laughs> why this hole was so fun. Trees in the way. Messes with your shot. Go ahead and get a forehand around the corner. See if we can get a run at it. Come back. Give me a shot. Give me a lane. I think I got a lane at it. If you look just left of the tree, you can see the basket. I'm still a long way back. It's going to be a fun hole. Take me four to get there. The goal is always to get there in three. There we go. Cut it down there. Now you got to make a shot for a five. For me, it's always been a par five, but for the pros, they always played it as a four. Okay, hole number four, about 190 feet out of the basket. Let's see how we do. Can't play this hole anymore because of the road and the traffic. Can't play one that way either. But it's a fun little day to dream every so often. Come out here and have a good time like we're doing today. Let's see if I can get this close. Right at the bottom of the hill. Make it for my five. Got me another uphill putt for a bogey. Let's see how we do here. Just get out of your hand. You know, I don't... Uh, That one came out of my hand very good. So maybe just complaining about my putter makes it do a little bit better. So that's a five. So that puts me two over after five holes. Okay, we find ourselves on the long part of the park. We're hole number nine. Quite a walk from hole number five from the open at Belton. Let's see, hole number six doesn't exist anymore. Seven is the parking lot. Eight is the kayak dock. Nine is this one. We're gonna play this. 10 is uh, soccer fields now. 11 is the road. 12 doesn't exist. They play 13 now still, but it's they play it green to T instead of T to green. 14 doesn't exist. So we're going to jump here. We went from five. We came over here to nine. And then we're going to play 15, 17, and 18. That gives our nine holes. So this is hole number nine in the old open at Belton course. This is a 396-foot par three. Tough hole, but I love it. It's one of my favorite courses to play. Love the tree line holes. It's beautiful cold. Beautiful hole. Turn one over right down the road. 
take that every day of the week, including Sunday. I play this course. Second shot up on the hill, a little bit of an elevation change. Get up there and make my three. Right there, make my three. Another hole with elevation change on the green to putt. Let's see. Hole number two had elevation change. Hole number four, a little elevation for the putt. Hole number five has one. Hole number nine does. Fifteen does. Um, Seventeen does. Eighteen's pretty flat. So a lot of elevation change around these greens. So let's see if we can make a putt. Got it for three. Okay, we're at hole number 15, the old open at Belton Course. Combine these two holes, you go up in the trees where basket 12 is for the white and the red. Two big shots, get up there and see if I can make a four. Got down there. I'm going to have to check, but my memory tells me that this was a par three for the pros, not a four. But we still got to get up there. Got to get up to the gap, same gap you always done. See if I can get up there and make a four. Better throw. You'll have a look at it. Long hole, still a long hole for me. Gonna get up there and hydrate up that hill. <laughs> Got it up there. Let's see if I can make a four. <laughs> Got it. Uh, putter is feeling. Still bad, but I'll take it. Okay, we're at hole number 17. We finished 15, 16. They're still in there. Hole 16 is still here for the open at Belton, but they're playing it backwards. They play from the green to the tee instead of the tee to the green. And this is hole 17, which is around the corner, dogleg part four, up to the raised green. And then we come back to 18. So we're going to play 17, 18, see how we do. A little forehand through the gap. Get you down there. Now you got to bomb it at the green. For me, it's always a three-shot hole. Get my four. Obviously, you can't play this hole because of the road, but it's still a fun hole. Par four. Get a position. Get up that hill and make my four here. Having a pretty good round so far. Oh, I've leaded that out. Probably going to make a five now. Shot into this green is always what makes this hole so much fun. Whether you're playing the red, the white, the blues, or the old open layout, risk reward. You want to get close, try to get close, get your four or your three, have it roll away. So let's see if we do. Right there at the bottom of the hill, I'm going to take my four if I make a putt. Dang it, would like to have a four on that, but I'm not a very good putter, so. Okay, we're at hole number 18 on our Remember When Open at Belt, of course. It's a little shorter now. I think the basket used to be up on the top shelf, but you go down here, a little dog leg to the right. Great finishing hole. Easy three for the pros, hard three for me. Just got to get it out there and then get it around that tree. Perfect. Get out in that wood, get out in that walkway, hit a little forehand turnover, make my putt, and be done. In the final configuration of the open at Belton, the basket was up on the top, and then there was a tree right where the road was, so it was a little bigger turn to the right. That was a pretty straight shot. Let's see if I can get one up there. Look at this other. So what usually happens, you misjudge the slope, didn't get it all the way here, now you got a long putt for a par. Pros didn't have that problem, but I had that problem. And I make it. I haven't made a putt in forever, and now I'm making putts on camera. We wrapped up our nine holes here at Heritage Park playing the old open at Belton Course. There are about nine holes you could play. If you brought a tent basket and had a little imagination, you could probably play 13, 14, 15 of the holes and still get yourself a good round of golf. Remember, there's no map on U-Disc anymore. There's no way to score this. So it was a great round. I enjoyed it. It's fun uh, trying to remember my days. I remember playing this course so many times when I was first learning how to play. 
And uh, I'm going, man, this game is hard. It's long. I can't throw it that far. I got to do this. And then my son took me to the UMHB course, and I went, oh, I really like this version of disc golf rather than the one at the Open at Belton. But I love the Open at Belton. love Heritage Park. It was a great course. Still is. Still going through a little renovations as they move through, put the, put the trails in. It was so much fun going down here and playing uh, the Remember When, playing some holes from the Open at Belton. Remember the Open at Austin's coming back in March along with the Waco Charity Open a couple weeks before that in March 2025. Get yourself prepared. Get yourself to be a volunteer. Go work at the courses. Score keep. Do whatever you can. Put it on your calendar. March 2025, the DGP Tour is coming back here to Waco and to Austin. We'll hope to see you then. This is Jim from Central Texas Disc Golf and Team Prodigy. If you enjoy this content and you like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate it. I'm going to go home and have a glass of water. Have a great day. We'll see you next time on Central Texas Disc Golf. <laughs>